Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inx Laura123. This is going to be a spend the day with me vlog so hope you enjoy watching. If you do please click like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I've uploaded new videos and also when I'm doing live streams. So today is Sunday, the time is 20 to 9. I've been up about no, half an hour or so. It's so annoying and frustrating that on a weekend when I don't need to get up early, I wake up early. Like, it's just so annoying. Anyhow, I'm up, I'm about, I'm going to do myself some breakfast in a minute, and then I'm going to do some arts and crafts. First thing of the morning. So there we go. <laughs> but I've been doing rock painting this week, and I've really enjoyed it. Um, I went to Hobby Craft yesterday morning and got a big bag of rocks for like three twenty-five or something, which was a bargain. Very heavy to carry back, but you know, good bargain. But yeah, I'm going to do some more rock painting this morning. I've got an idea. I've got an idea that I'm going to do. So hopefully, it will come out right. Um, the thing with me, right, with any arts and crafts thing, I love it. I enjoy it. I find it relaxing, therapeutic, fun. But I'm just not very good at it. Like, you know, some people are just really good. Like, they're just really artistic and they're just very, very good at drawing or painting or whatever they're doing. I, and I'm not putting myself down here, by the way. I'm just speaking it honestly, right? I am just useless. I have all these ideas in my mind. And when I get to it, I'm like, eee, that doesn't look like I thought it was going to. But you know what? It's fine. It's all good. I, I still think, even if you're not good at art and crafts, if you do it and you enjoy it, then that's all that matters, right? And everything is art, isn't it? I suppose. Uh, anyway, so yes, I have an idea that I'm going to do. I'll show you some of the rock painting that I've done during the week in a minute. So you can tell me what you think. <laughs> but anyhow, so yes, that is the plan. Um, it's still really humid today. Horrible yesterday. Oh my God, I had a bit of a meltdown yesterday. Um, I feel sorry for Nathan because I probably super embarrassed him. But luckily there was no one about. So that was all right. But oh my God, I am terrified of insects. I've always been, you know, pretty open about my my phobias and, and well I think I'm scared of everything pretty much but insects you know ever since I was a little girl I've just oh I've just been terrified of insects and my my granddad bless him he used to always say to me Laura when you're an adult you know you can't run around screaming if you see a fly you know and I'm like no I won't when I'm, a, I'm an adult I won't do it but now I'm so granddad in heaven I'm 43 and I'm still running scared from flies and oh I was I don't know what it is, it's the buzzing, it's the look of them, it's like flying towards me really quick. I just, I just, I can't, I can't. And I don't wish them any harm, like, you know, flies, go and do your thing, you all, you know, God's creatures, but just don't come near me, because I just, I'm just scared. And I know it's so silly, because I'm this big human, and they're this tiny fly, but I'm just... Anyhow, so we went to go out, basically, yesterday, me and Nathan, and we're just going to go to the shop and for a little walk and stuff, and all of a sudden, I, I saw one, I saw two, I saw three... Fly ants. Yes, it was fly ant day yesterday. Um, I know different areas have it different days. I'd already seen on Twitter the day before they were in London because people were like, you know, tweeting it out. Hashtag fly ant day. But uh, I was like, oh, I didn't really see that many until yesterday uh, when we went to go out and there was just, oh my God, just they were on the floor and they were flying. I was like, I can't. And I started freaking out. So I just had to come home. We had to end up uh, going out on his own, bless him. <laughs> to the shop but I just couldn't do it honestly I could not do it I couldn't be out in public knowing that these flying ants were just everywhere they just it was making my skin crawl so we do want to go out today because I'm going to go and um, get some more drink from Mark Spencer's he wants some little snacks and things from there but I'm just like oh please don't let it, please don't let there be like another sort of day of these ant flying monsters <laughs> oh anyway but yeah, so that was the drama yesterday. It's just been so, so hot and so humid. Like, it's ridiculous. Trying to sleep in this weather. Like, we've got our little fan on in the room and the window open. Um, but it's just it's just blowing sort of warm air. You know, there's no there's no coolness. What I'd love is one of those blooming Dyson things that's like, you know, 300 quid or something that they're supposed to really cool the room. Whether they do or not, I don't know, but they're supposed to be amazing. Um, or one of those, like, kind of... Um, I don't know what they're kind of air conditioning units that you put the water in at the back or something. I don't know how that would work, but we just need something because every summer it's just, te it's terrible. It's unbearable trying to sleep, trying to do anything. Like yesterday, me and Nathan literally, that's why I didn't particularly want to vlog yesterday because I knew how hot it was going to be. And I was like, oh, do you know what? I'm just going to be lazy today. Um, 
and we just literally i mean i went out in the morning for a little bit um just do a couple of shops and stuff but apart from that we just didn't do anything we laid on the bed i mean we had a good luck good laugh we were giggling about things and talking and having a cuddle and it was just nice to have like bonding time i suppose but we were both like i can't be bothered to do anything mood and he's like yep <laughs> So we just didn't do anything yesterday. It was really like a lazy day. Um, but it's this heat, like it's the weather, like you just don't want to do anything. I spoke to my dad um, yesterday and I was like, he said, what have you been up to today? And I said, oh, I'm not going to lie, we haven't done anything. We've been super lazy. And he was like, well, that's all right. So have I. And he, he said, him and Jan, that's his partner, he, he like normally loves going out. He loves doing stuff. He just could not be bothered. He said he just wanted to lay down and just, you know, not do anything. But that is what the heat does. It makes you just knocked out. And also I'm extra tired because I, I suffer from hay fever allergies. And so obviously hay fever can make you more tired as well. So yeah, I don't want today to be a day of just laying about. Like, I don't mind doing it, you know, for a good few hours, being lazy, relaxing, you know, your body needs it, your mind needs it. Um, it's been a bit of a stressful week for me as well. My anxiety has not been good. So I was pleased in a way to have a weekend where I am just, you know, not really doing much. But um, I don't want to just like do nothing. Do you know what I mean? I want to do something. Hence why I thought, you know, I'm going to get up and just do a little bit of rock painting. And um, if there's no flying ant monsters, <laughs> I'll go out for a little wander and we'll go to the shop and stuff today. But um, tonight I've got to do my eBay listings. I'm an eBay reseller, so I've got to put my um, my listings on eBay. I think I've got I think I've got like three bags of stuff to put on. I did get quite a lot of things this week, so um, hopefully that will be good next week when obviously they sell and get the money. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do some breakfast now. I'm just going to have some eggs on toast. I leave uh, need to leave my friend Hannah some voice notes because um, I owe her some messages back. Uh, she was the last one to message me, and then I'm going to message her. Um, I love like the um, Facebook voice note messenger voice notes thing it's just great because you're just like little walkie talkie hello are you there <laughs> but um yes yeah, so i'm gonna leave her some messages while i do my breakfast also got to empty the dishwasher so that's really boring but it's got to be done um i should have done it last night but i could not be bothered so i'm just gonna do it this morning um and then yeah i'm reading a really wait well, it's a good book but it's real it's got all dark in it i'm reading a good book but it's also very like it's good, but it's dark and depressing. In a way, I'll be pleased like when it's finished and I can just get on to the next book. Um, even though it's going to be a horror. <laughs> but still. But no, I'll show you my book in a bit and tell you about it. I'll show you some of the rocks that I've been painting uh, during the week. Some of the rocks... Sorry, back to rock painting. But some of the rocks that I've done, I want to keep here. And we're going to put them in the garden and stuff. And others... We, uh, well, I'm going to go and sort of put them put them places. Hide them. Because I think that's what you're supposed to do, isn't it, with a rock painting? You... you decorate them and then you hide them for people or something um anyway i'm rambling sorry right let's make breakfast and then i'll show you the rocks and um i'll show you my book and tell you about it as well oh it's all crumbling ah. I do like a scone, or a scone, but they just fall apart as I'm trying to pick them up. Apple juice, I'm actually spent some pressed pink lady apple juice, my new obsession. So this is the book that I'm currently reading. From the cover, you'd probably think this was a horror. I think it looks quite a creepy cover, uh, very atmospheric. But no, it's not a horror. As you can see from the sticker on the side there, it is a crime. See, so yeah, I got this from the library. Um, it's literally only come out, like I think, about a month ago. So I was really pleased that the library had it. Um, I'm very lucky, actually, because our library do get a lot of the newer books. So it's by S.A. Cosby. It's called All the Sinners Bleed. Um, it's a very dark book like I knew it was going to be quite a dark uh, story but I didn't quite realize how dark so it's about this guy he's a sheriff called Titus Crown and he's the first black sheriff um in the is it Charon County Charon County in Virginia 
Um, and basically, yeah, he's got kind of hate from all sides. Um, his fellow black people don't like him because he's working for the police. Uh, the white people don't like him because they're obviously, you know, some of them have got quite racist views towards him. So he's kind of getting hate from all different sides. Then there's um, a murder and another murder. I don't want to give too much away, but th there's a couple of murders um, which lead to um, finding out that there's a serial killer in the area. Um, it's, it's just really dark like I knew as I said I knew it's a crime I knew roughly what the story was going to be but I didn't know it's going to quite go where it's gone um so I'm finding it quite uncomfortable to read actually but it's also very good because it's so well wrote and thought-provoking and just you know hard hitting so I will continue reading it I'm nearly halfway um where's my bookmark here it is <laughs> but I'll be honest with you I will be pleased when it's done um because it's just kind of it's it's just so like disturbing as such but this author writes these books that really get in your head and really make you think and, and do make you feel uncomfortable, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm interested to see how it will go and I'm interested to see who there's a... I won't give spoilers, but there's someone in the town who's obviously a bad person who we haven't found out who it is yet, so I'm interested to find out who it is. I think I've got a rough suspicion who it could be. My little, you know, ideas, but I could be wrong. Um, but, yeah, really, really good book, but just very, like, you know, Anyway, so yeah, that is my current read. S.A. Cosby, All the Sinners Bleed. Rocking Pebbles. So this is the bag that I got from Hobbycraft. Obviously, um, I've been using some of the rocks, but as you can see, they're quite big-sized rocks that you get in this bag, and you do get quite a good few in there. This is uh, the rock that my friend Lisa done for me. It's pretty cool. I couldn't do anything like that, I have to say. Um, she is very good at art, so yeah, it's pretty good, I have to say. Very impressed with that. Mine are nowhere near as good as this, I have to be honest. <laughs> Alright, so let's have a show, show and tell. Um, this one's supposed to be a little cottage. Um, I tried, to, like some of these I get ideas from, from Google images or, you know, social media and stuff. Um, yeah, it kind of looked like the look I was going for, which this person had done, but just not as good. <laughs> um, I also need to get a brown, because I had like a brown door and all I had was orange. So, um, but yeah, I mean, look, it's all practice. You know, I could do this again in the future and make it look even better. Um, obviously, so it's just a try, I'm trying. There's supposed to be like the little window there, the door, flowers, little roof there. I tried, all right, I tried. Now this one is funny, I tried to draw my friend Hannah because I told her I was doing some rock painting. <laughs> oh my, I'd have shown her this photo and she was laughing, so that is a good thing because she's got very big curly hair. So I tried to do that, but it went a bit wrong. I don't know what happened to her eyes. She looks like, you know, a bit scary. But um, anyway, she thought it was funny and she still wants it. She's going to put it in her garden. Uh, this is a watermelon. This ain't too bad. Oh, I don't know. The dots have gone a bit weird. But it's all practice, you know. I was just practicing. So that's supposed to be a bit of watermelon. Um, this one, actually, Nathan did. Because uh, I was like, do you want to join in with me? Do me rock painting. And he was like, not particularly. But then I think he felt sorry for me and he came and sat at me for a bit and ended up doing better than me. Um, I actually really like this one. He's done it really, really well. Very cool. I like that. I want to do some spirally, swirly design ones as well. Now, I wonder who this is. <laughs> this is supposed to be me and Nathan with the heart in the middle. I mean, come on. That's amazing. That's a piece of art. There's a ladybird there. I don't know if ladybirds do have bright blue eyes, but they do now. Now, this was an idea I got online, which someone had done, and it looked so cool until I'd done it, and then it was like, oh, yeah. But you get the idea. It's supposed to be the, um, what, the paints, all the different colour paints with a paintbrush in the middle. But yeah, I think I made the brush a bit too thick. <sighs> How I wish I was good at art. It's another one that Nathan done with his little spirals and dots that side. He's so much better than me. He's not even into it and he's better than me. It's not fair. I'm jealous. And of course, I had to do the Israel flag because I'm Jewish. Gotta love the Israel. But I still think my cottage is the best. I like my little cottage. Well, that I've done. I like the little cottage. Um, actually, I don't know. The picture of me and Nathan. It's quite good. Um, rocking pens. These are what I've been using. The acrylic paint markers. Non-toxic, waterproof, UV protected. Um, but yeah, you only get eight colours in here. So you get white, pink, green, yellow, blue, orange, red, black. But yeah, I just, as I say, I want another set where there's more colours. Like I'd love, for example, when I was doing the door, I really wanted like a brown colour and stuff. So in this set that I've seen online, they do do browns and different shades of colours as well. Um, but yeah, they're really cool like to use. It was funny though, when I first got them out of the pack, I went to use it and the, the tip was like white. 
And I was thinking, well, that's weird. It's supposed to be red. So then anyway, I pulled out another colour, and that was white. And I was like, there's something wrong with these pens. And Nathan's like, no, no, you have to shake them and press them. So if you ever get these, and you're silly like me, they don't just work like a pen. You have to shake them about a bit. Then you have to press them, sort of pump them, and eventually the paint starts to come through. And now I can use them normally. They're fine. But it's just that first initial thing. But um, yeah, no, they're really good. Really good. I like the idea. I have got uh, some other uh, sets, not painting kits that I've got, and they come with paints. But um, I am liking the pens. But I'm finding like the tips of these pens are a bit thick. So when I tried to like write a word on it, it was like quite thick. So I, I want to order some pens online that um, are not only different colours, but are also um, like you know like thinner, like a thinner tip. Anyway, but yeah, they're, they're pretty cool though. Apparently they need to be um, glazed or something. You need to put some, well, not concealer, that's what you put on your face. <laughs> they need to put con some concealer on. No, a sealant, there we go, sealant you need to put on them apparently. Or concealer, it's up to you. <laughs> but no, I'm happy with them, I think they're cool. It's all a good start, right? You know, it's going to take a lot of practice. And, you know, the only way you can get better, I suppose, is if you do, you know, just keep practicing. So there we go, rock painting. I'm going to do some rock painting now. Though. I'm going to try and do a minion. I've got a photo of it on my phone, so I'm going to try and copy that as best I can. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> I mean, this is the caliber of my art, so um, we'll see. I'll show you in a minute. Well, it won't be a minute for me, but it'll be a minute for you because I'll edit this video. But yeah, tell me what you think. Right, okay. <laughs> That's my minion. I think I'm making the mistake of not letting it dry enough. That's why it's going splodgy. Because I'm like, oh yeah, that looks dry, but then it's not, and then it starts to like melt kind of thing, and I don't know what. Anyway, but it's all a learning game. It's a learning game. So next time I'll let each colour dry. So I shouldn't have done the black glasses and the eye until the yellow had probably sort of dried. But anyway, but it's not bad. Not bad. Little mini in there. And then I've done this one here that says hope. See what I mean? I really need to get um some pens with like a thinner tip because it's a bit thick but anyhow it's all good it's all good hope nice positive message there and a minion i did enjoy doing that actually i have to say i really did i know it's not the best but i really enjoyed it <laughs> okay, i've got to take all the cans out and the bottles out now to the recycling bin and it's raining might cool it down a bit put Nathan's shoes on. Look how big they are on my feet. <laughs> it's because I want to go and stand out in the rain. I know it sounds a bit weird, but it's just been so hot and humid. It just feels like this nice cool breeze and the rain. So I'm going to go and stand out in the rain in the garden for a minute. <sighs> it's so nice to stand in. In the rain. Lucky we haven't got any washing out today because it would have got drenched. Give the uh, flowers a nice water as well, which is good. It's supposed to be rain quite a lot this week, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm dancing. I look like a right idiot. I'm literally in a pair of shorts in the rain. <laughs> I don't realise how hot it's been though, seriously. It's so humid and horrible. And it just feels just, oh, it's just so nice out here right now. Just this cool breeze and oh, lovely. <sighs> Wilma is being very naughty. Very cheeky and mischievous. I love you, Wilma. But she's making out she's hungry, but you've had breakfast. <laughs> I know, no, don't hide. Come here. Come here. I love you. But you're making out, oh, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. But you have had breakfast like about an hour or so ago. So <laughs> she's very cheeky. And you're cheeky. Maybe you'll have a little bit of lunch. When she gets this hungry, it's better just to get... Well, I always think it's better just to give her a little snack at lunchtime. Otherwise, you get all stressy, don't you, and angry with me. 
but not yet okay not yet have it soon have a little bit of a little bit of flake all right love you <laughs> hello panda all right meow <laughs> He's circling me. <laughs> Dean. <laughs> you let me through. You're blocking the way. <laughs> See you later. Oh, no, it's still there. It's still there. You all right? Just walking with me. <laughs> I've got a stalker. <laughs> Just give him a sneaky little bit of ham. It's all right, my neighbours do know that I do that, it's fine. But he's loving it. Maybe that's why he likes me, because I give him sneaky little bits of ham. <laughs> well, he's happy. He's got some ham. And we're happy because we've got some goodies. Should we do a little quick haul? You can do the haul. Okay, let's do it. Right, so, got these. These are my other obsession. Uh, they are lean and green, fit hit, water juice, tea and vitamins, apple and elderflower, with this tea stuff in it. Um, only 35 calories a bottle. Vitamins, juice, aqua, and teas. Um, and they just taste really, really nice. If you're looking for a cheap version, they which is that, yeah. pretty similar, uh, what is it? Lidl. Lidl, Lidl do them. Um, but I like the Mark Spencer's one best. And I've got three of those. And, oh yeah, I've got this to try. I also got this one here, Immunity. Haha, <laughs> do you get it? Yeah. Get immunity. You need the Immunity. I don't need, yeah. Vit hit, so this is the same sort of thing, but it's dragon fruit and zuzu and tea. And it's got zinc in it as well. This one, and zo oh, zozo no, it's zozo's the demon, not zuzu. That's all right, then. <laughs> Worried me then. Um, I'm gonna try this on camera in a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. If it's disgusting, you'll see my reaction. Well the ginger drink you had. Oh, that ginger shot thing, yeah. Ugh. but I'm hoping it's oh, you did have it in the yeah. end. Oh, that's right. Well, I'm stuck helping, but <laughs> right, we've also got. Couple of scratch cards for a Sunday scratch. We'll do them. Uh, we'll let you know if we win or not. Top or bottom? What are you after? I'll, you pick. I'll go top. Okay. So you can have bottom. All right. Um, and then we get, I think this is in a deal, isn't it? Yeah. Eight pound for three, three boxes. In so. Oh, yeah, there we go. Mix and match three for eight pounds. There's lots of different bits on the deli bit. Is it the deli? Yeah, it's kind of like a picnic deli. Picnic deli stuffs. Uh, so we've got the popcorn, chicken bites, uh, Melton Mowbray pork pies. Uh, by the way, these are for Nathan. They're not for me because I'm vegetarian. You. They're not for me, wouldn't they? Back in the day, I'd have had them. Yeah. Uh, cheese and ham bites with a smoky ketchup. See, out of everything you've got, They're the ones you are that appeals to me. Mm. But it's ham. Mm. I don't eat ham. Uh, so yeah, got those. Another one of my obsessions, the um, pressed pink lady apple juice. <laughs> We've pressed 10 Pink Lady Apples per bottle. So thank you, Apples, for giving your life for me. Um, ah, okay. What's this? So should we just leave it now? Or? Yeah, let's just leave it now. <laughs> da, da, da. We've got some naughty stuff. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with a little bit of naughty. And a weekend. In moderation, yeah. Vegetarian, in case anyone moans at me, it's fine. Is it, though? Yeah, it's got yeah. vegetarians on it. <laughs> Prefer roll dessert. And I think you get a free spoon up there, maybe, or am I imagining that? No, there's no spoon. No, Why did I think there was a free spoon? I don't know. You've never used yeah. a spoon. Ignore that. You can get desserts with yeah, spoons in, but not this one. So ignore that I just said that. Um, so yeah, prefer to roll dessert. I don't have it in one day. I have it over two days. Yeah, in half a day. <laughs> Shut up. I don't. I have it over two one, days. One, point one minute. Seconds. I could do, but I have to be a good girl. And I have half tonight for dessert. Half tomorrow. And half tomorrow for dessert. Even though it's only small, yeah. they're quite rich. And you get that saucy stuff at the bottom. Oh, so, so saucy. So, like me. Yeah. Uh, and Nathan has got two custard sh Shock. sh shocks. Show. Show. Shock. Shocks. Buns. Yeah. And I still don't know what they are. I, you tell me. If oh, there we go. Uh, pastry filled with rich. Madagascan vanilla. No, Ma Madagascan. 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 That's what I said. No, you said Madaga Madagascan. Madagascan. No, you said. Ma Ma you said. <laughs> what did I? You don't even know what I said. So Madagascan. Madagascan. But you said Magadascan. Magadascan. Yes, Madagascan. Madagascan. Yeah. Anyway, it's got vanilla in it. Uh, custard topped with a decadent chocolate fondant. 
So there we go. That's what it is. They are. They look nice. I've never ever tried one of yours. Yes. Yeah. Did I like it? Yeah, you didn't mind it. Hmm. So there we go. Right, I'm going to try this drink now and do the scratch cards. So and these are also suitable for vegetarians. If anybody's interested. Where's it say that? Oh, they are. Otherwise, you want to try one. Oh, that's good. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm going to put that there. Like that, and I'm going to try one of these. What do you reckon? Like or dislike? Pass it to you. Ready? Here comes the opening. Don't have to shake it. Do you have to shake it? Yeah, but I'm going to open it first okay. and then shake it. Not why it's open, clearly. <laughs> and then I'm going to give it a sniff. Give it a sniff. A sniff test. Sniff this. <laughs> so I'm so rude. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing that face? Everyone, sniff. Why are you doing that grimace? Oh. Is it not a nice smell? Oh. Is it not? I can tell you I'm not drinking that, even if you pay me. Sorry, I just love it. Are you joking? No, I don't like the smell. I like the smell. It's making me sniff. I think that's my hay favorite. Yeah, it smells nasty. Mm. So shake? I've shook it, but you can shake oh. it again. Oh, alright then. Oh, okay. Let's shake I don't even know if you have to shake. Well, I'll shake them anyway. <laughs> yeah. Just shake. Why is that how I smell? It's a little bit sicky. Yeah, it's not mine. My... It kind of smells uh, sick. sick. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, but loads of people have this dragon fruit yeah, it doesn't season. Mean they're, they're all well it. Right. Well, can you count me down then? Three, two, one, vom. No, <laughs> shut up, don't say vomit. <laughs> you. <laughs> you just get say something then. I did, I stopped myself. Yeah. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Bottoms up. Does it taste like sick? Clearly not, because you're going back for more. Mmm. 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 No, you'd like that. No, I'm not. No, that. you're telling yourself because the smell, but yeah. you'd like it. No, I wouldn't. Give you a pound if you well, have not, a sick. I said no amount of money would make you. No yeah. amount of money. Honestly, it's really no. nice. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Mmm. Yeah. That is beautiful. It kind of tastes like. um. What is it again? What flower? I don't know. Yeah, you don't know any of the flowers. No, I was going to say it tastes like saying it, and I don't know, but it's really nice. It's not horrible at all. Mm. It stinks. Mm. Though. It does smell a bit like sick. Nasty, yeah. But it doesn't taste like it. Tastes really, it really taste nice. Like sick. Well, that's the main thing. It doesn't taste like sick. It's really refreshing yeah. and sweet. Actually, it's lovely. So I'm definitely going to get some more of them. Yeah. That's good. And it's good for me, only 35 calories a bottle. Yeah. I don't know what sea, sea long tea is. I assume it must be good yeah. for you. It says sea long tea and zinc. Yeah, it has a tea. tea. No, but it might be one of these kind of healthy friendly Yeah, of course, teas. it's not going to be an unhealthy tea. Yeah. It's a vitamin drink. Immunity. I wonder if that helps with yeah. my immunity. Low calorie, no preservatives, no added sugar. Oh, it's got 100% seven daily vitamins. What, in that bottle? Seven days worth of vitamins? No. I don't know what you're reading, so. Um, seven. Yeah, it has. Huh. It's got all of your vitamin B1. Because I don't get enough vitamins, that's probably why I'm always ill. Niacin. Ow. B6. Yeah, I need that. Folic acid. Uh, B12. Need that. Biotin. And. Pantheetic acid. This one. And it's also got 20% of your zinc. See, I need to. These things I don't get in my diet. And it's got zero fat. And they're not fattening either. This has got mate it's got tea. seven calories per 100 ml. Yeah. Low calorie, no preservatives, no added sugar. This is 100%. Oh, this is different. This one says eight daily vitamins. Mm. Mm? It's a still... Oh, so this drink... Oh, a, no, is it bad? No, still okay. drink with white grape juice. That's what it tastes like, Dragon nice, yeah. And so it's got white grape in it as well, that's why it tastes nice. It is nice, it's really good. That one says it's got more vitamins and in it. And this one's apple juice, elderflower, with some vitamins. So this one's got... That's got more vitamins. Eight. Yeah. This has got vitamin C, B1, niacin, B6, folic acid, B12, biotin, and pantheetic acid. And it's also got some... Vodka. It's really nice stuff, isn't it? Honestly, it's really, really nice. This has got loads of apples in it. Well, that's going to have nice vitamins. Yeah. It says one in a day. Ten, ten apples are in this. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. this sort of stuff. Honestly, I'm really, I'm now annoyed that I've only got one of them. Yeah. But tomorrow I might go and get some more. Or well, when I'm in town next. The, the big Marks and Spencer. In town, they've got the big. They might do a bigger bottle of it. 
Like that size? No, I think uh, these ones are only the, I don't know. Mm. But anyway, really, really nice. Mm. Thumbs up from me. I'm going to go and do the scratch cards now. Mm -hmm. um, have a scratch, see if we win. Oh. Mum's gone shopping with her mate. Um, so no doubt when she comes back, I'll have to help her bring in all the stuff. So I don't know how long I've got before that phone call. Well, you have to come and help me. Don't know why she sounds like that all of a sudden. Like, hey. um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to help Mum with her housework. Why am I saying housework? I'm not with it. Shopping. Help her with the shopping. And then, I don't know, we've already watched a bit of our uh, Bizarre Bub, a bit of Paranormal this morning, so that was cool. Very scary, wasn't it? Oh, oh okay. what an episode. Um, but I think, yeah, I don't know, I've got no YouTube work to do today, really. Oh, hold on. Do you want me to stop filming? No. No, it was Paranormal. It was Paranormal. Last night. Right, I'm going to find a coin. In bed. Paranormal in bed. Oh god, God, my face is bright red. Is it? Or maybe it's the light, I don't know. We were in bed. Yeah. We were in bed. I don't know why I'm repeating, they can hear you. you. Were asleep. I couldn't sleep. I'm always asleep. No, I was I couldn't sleep well last night. No, you were snoring your head off by the time. <laughs> I couldn't sleep while you were snoring your head off. <laughs> yeah. You were snoring your head off because you didn't hear this because if you had it done you wouldn't sleep all night. Because what I heard was whistling from the hallway. Are you and he swore then, are you effing joking? No, nah, there was something going. In our hallway. Upstairs it, hallway. Yeah, it wasn't out the back window. Well, no, because like, we went to bed at like it three. Must have been like four in the morning, and there was nobody out. There was silence. And then in the hallway, I just heard. I've got the chills like that, going that down my back. Whistle. Right. But we've had that before. We do a lot of paranormal yeah. investigations in a house. Obviously, if you're new here. A little bit loud, yeah. Obviously. Oh, God, because our fan's really loud. Our fan's loud, and I heard it over the fan. And it was in the hallway, and it went... Don't you remember when we had our, um, like, recorder, yeah. voice recorder thing, we left it out, and we heard whistling, and it was EVP. It was whistling in the hallway. We've had that a few times, the whistling. But not for ages. Closer, so no! Got loud, as it come closer, that, that, that end bit was louder than yeah. the end bit. But don't you remember what happened to me in the toilet last night? Yeah. <laughs> the bed in the toilet. It must have been. I woke. I fell asleep on the sofa, but yeah. I woke up yeah, for a wee wee. I was at half one. Yeah. I remember waking up thinking I need the That's toilet. I had to drag my but. butt up the stairs like a zombie, like because yeah, I've been asleep on yeah. the sofa. And I was, but I was still with it. Obviously, by the time I walked up the stairs and sat on the toilet, I was, you know, oh, alert. And I heard tapping. I think it was two or three taps on the bathroom window. Which is on the second floor. Which nobody can tap on. No. And there's no um, tree or anything. No. Literally. It was like, it was on the glass, so. Like that. Three taps. Two or three taps. Yeah, no, and I come running down in my shorts. I love her tapping. Somehow I managed to fall asleep again on the sofa after that, but. No, whistling is. Well, tapping's scary, but whistling's scarier. Yeah. But we have had that before. We've had it on our audio that we've, yeah, we've captured. No, I've never heard it like live as such. No, that would have freaked I'm pleased you never told me. I wouldn't have slept. Anyway, there you go. Paranormal experiences. Oh, really? Freak you out. Did, you any, did it sound like a man whistling or a woman? Old, young? Don't know. But, you know, he used to whistle granddad. Always used to be walking around whistling. He used to go... I can't whistle, but he did. My honestly, my granddad used to whistle a lot when he walked around. Grandma used to sing yeah. as she walked. Whenever she was doing the housework, she'd like sing, yeah. and my granddad would whistle. Yeah. It's a bit weird. Yeah. Anyway, right. That's paranormal uh, update. <laughs> and really quickly, I have to say I was wrong about something. Project Fear, formerly Destination Fear. I've actually really started yeah, liking it again. Yeah. yeah. First episode, I thought, mm, they seem a bit louder and a bit so arrogant. The but yeah, yeah. If you skip the first sort of five, ten minutes where they're just rambling and showing yeah, off a little so bit. Right, yeah. The, rest of it was the right. actual investigation and the place and finding out about the paranormal stuff, like, really good. And really good. they're back to themselves when they're not showing off. Yeah. But yeah, I was wrong. It's gotten better. However, really quickly, I will also say that apparently Zach Bagans, mm -hmm. who I do love, I'm not going to go against Zach. You can't just be one or the other. I like Ghost Adventures and 
Project Fear. Apparently, Zach Bagans, anyone who writes anything nice about Dakota yeah. and Project Fear, blocking he's blocking them. It's a bit weird, isn't it? You know, imagine me, like, I don't know, someone was talking about some other YouTuber who I didn't like. I wouldn't go, oh, you can't like both of us. I say, oh, okay, I don't watch him or her, but you can. It's all good if you like me as well. But he's blocking them. But to be fair, they are tagging him in it. He's not going around looking for people slagging him off. They're, they're saying things like, oh, at Zach Bagans, your show's rubbish, you're this, you're that, Dakota is much better. If someone was doing that to me, you know, so and so is much better at YouTube than you, I'd be like, oh, I don't need to tag me in it. No, it doesn't block them. It's when they're tagging him and they're kind of saying, oh, Dakota's show's much better than yours and things like that. Yeah. You've changed. And I just, uh, why do you need to bring you into it? You can like both shows, and yeah, I, I, I like both. Bit... Oh, no, Bob's yeah, there. Cool. Let's not have a round camera. Let's not have a round. I like Zach Bagans. You wouldn't win. I'm a Leo. Actually, no, it's my birthday soon. I need to be nice to you. Yeah. <laughs> you did it whistling, and you protected me. Because if, you're joking aside, if you'd have woke me up and said, Bob's, I've just heard whistling in the hallway, I, I wouldn't have slept. I'd have yeah, been like that. Now I'm going to think about it tonight. I'm going to whistle. I need my sleep tonight because I've got work in the morning. Don't do that ring a ring of roses thing to me. Don't do it. I can't whistle very well, can I? Anyway, right, see you in a bit. We're going to scratch. No more ghost talk. We are going for a tour in, um, where is it, the Cotswold. The Cotswolds. So we're watching one of these um, like walking tour videos on YouTube. It's really cool. You get to see other places around the world. and um, It's just nice, relaxing to have one in the background. And I'm going to have a little read at the same time. So, yeah, I don't know. I was saying to Nathan about this book that it's just it's so heavy. I think that's the best way. Very dark, very heavy. And I'm like, oh, it's kind of bringing me down a little bit, my mood. So I'm thinking I'm going to skim read now just to see what happens at the end. Because honestly, it's really, really well wrote. I don't want to take anything away from it. But it's just very, very dark. Um, so <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of skim read it, you know, get it done. And then my next book is this one here which is a YA horror by Kaylin Bayron. Um, I absolutely love Cinderella is Dead. That was really good. This is called You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight. And uh, it's like one of these haunted attractions and then it all becomes real and spooky stuff happens. So I, as I, I really like Cinderella is Dead. That was that one. Um, and this is quite a slim read as well. So yeah, I don't want to just DNF this book. So I have been, I would say, enjoy, not enjoying it, but I've been, you know embracing the the words Does that make sense i don't know um but i just oh, i just think if I, I take another day reading this very disturbing book it would just mess my head up so i'm gonna just get it done see what happens see if my predictions are, are right and then just um move on to this book so yeah reading time so i just wanted to give a quick update on my book i've just started reading before uh you're not supposed to die tonight and it is by Kaylin Bayron. Love the cover. The cover is awesome. I have to say, I was worried that this book was going to be like a little bit cringy. And I was like, mm. but it's really, really good. It, honestly, it's really good. I'd give it five stars so far. Um, so I just thought I'd give you an update. It's, it's, you know, it's creepy and scary, but I think it's going to get more scary. So watch this space. No, but I'm really, really enjoying it. I might even get it done tonight because it's only a quick read, but um, we'll see. But yeah, just an update there. And I'm now going to start doing eBay work. I've got a few bags of bits and pieces to uh, stick on. So let the eBay listing work begin. We are about to do some gaming. Hashtag gaming. Um, we're going to do some Mario Kart on the Switch. And that makes you a gamer girl. I'm a gamer girl. I'm a gamer. Might get some of them earphones that they wear with the, the bunny ears. Cat ears. Bunny ears. <laughs> no, maybe I'll get bunny ears. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to do a bit of Mario Kart. I don't know who I'm going to be. 
Uh, you know what I'm fancying? Mm -hmm. See if you can psychically. I'm not going to say it is. I'm going to see if you can. And I'm going to be honest if you get it. Yeah. I'm sending the psychic message over to you. I'm going to be. Waluigi. No, I'm going to be uh, Boo. Boo. The ghost. Is that Boo? King Boo. King Boo with the tongue out at yeah. the top. Yeah. King Boo. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, you'll probably win. You might win one. But I'm going to give it a good go. Good luck. Thank you, and you. <laughs> Nathan said to me, are you going to vlog that um, I lost, basically, and he won all the races? I was like, no, I'm not going to vlog. Is you, you vlog when you win. That is true. Indeed. So I'm here vlogging to say, you didn't to say that I didn't win. Um, so I think I'm going to end the vlog now. I can tell you what's going on the rest of the evening, though, so you will know. You'll find out. Um, so in a minute, I'm going to go and have my dinner. Do you know what I've got? You've got jack and potato, cheese and beans. That is correct. That is correct. Jack and potato, cheese and beans. Um... And I might have for dessert a little bit of that profit roll. Not all of it. Well, really half today, half tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I wish they had longer dates on them. Yeah, yeah fresh. true. True that. So, yes, dinner. You got dinner? No. You're not eating tonight? No food for me. It's you are going to have dinner. No food. No dinner? No dinner. Why? No, I'm, I'm having dinner. Yeah, I'm having dinner. Hunter's chicken. Hunter's chicken waffle, wasn't it? From waffle fries, yeah. fries from Iceland, twisted, twisted. as seen on social media. Yeah, million viewers or <laughs> no, there's 40 million followers yeah. apparently in the box. You that it said, it Yeah, I might look it up actually we'll in a minute. Twisted money. food Iceland or something. Yeah, 40, 40 million is a lot of followers. I don't know, a, a random million. brand, unless they're big in another country. Yeah, who knows? We don't know, anyhow. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have for dinner. I'm gonna. Read for a bit. I love my new book, as I said before, so I might need to go and have that again. But yeah, really good uh, book. eBay's all done, which is good. Um, we played Mario, and then tonight at 10, we've got some really itchy back. Um, we've got Howard Hughes, The Unexplained. The Unexplained, Howard Hughes. That was a really good voice there. Yeah. You sounded a bit like John Corshaw, who yeah. does the voice for it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you don't know who he is, he's on Talk TV every Sunday at 10. And it's kind of weird, unexplained mysteries, uh, paranormal, space, UFO, science, weird stuff, tech stuff. Fevzy will probably be on it with tech news. <laughs> Some of the regulars, Andrew Lamb with space, space news. news. Just news. And they're, they're, tonight they're talking about also a very famous case uh, about some, these soldiers escaped somewhere yeah. using a Ouija board. Yeah. So I don't quite know the story, no. but I'm intrigued to find out more. Um, anyway, so thank you for watching. Um, as I say, that is literally what I'm going to be doing tonight. I've got work in the morning. I'm not going to vlog tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to vlog Tuesday, so probably the next day I'll vlog is Wednesday. Yeah. Give me a couple of days off to do my thing. Obviously, there's still be lots of other types of videos on here as well as the daily vlogs. No videos. No, there's plenty of videos. Uh, I might do another what I eat in a day video yeah. this week. Well, that was pretty much the same, wasn't it? No, because I'll have I'll make sure that day I'll have different things. Like I'll have cereal for breakfast instead of eggs. Yeah. I'll have rice yeah. <laughs> instead of a sandwich. <laughs> and I'll have something like a vegetarian so, uh, sausage rolls or, or something yeah, for dinner yeah. instead of just yeah. veg. There's plenty of options. Well, There's options. not. It's good. He's taking the Mickey because I do tend to eat the same thing every day. I've had a pretty much had a potato in my body. That sounds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've ate a potato. Based <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I heard of the giggles there. I've had a potato in my body. No, you've, no, you've, I've, no you've I've, consumed I've consumed a potato, potato every food day. every day since I was probably I don't know about six, seven. Yeah. Every day. Every day. I've had potato in my body. Yeah, so you know, obviously, there's always going to be a bit of a tater in the video, always. But you know, there are other things that I have and that I can show. <laughs> I'm very boring and bland with my food, I like the same, I like it how I like it, and that's that. My rambling, okay, he's nodding, that means yes. So, thank you for watching. Please click like, comment, share, subscribe, smash the notification bell for notifications. Check out Minxlaura123 as my mother channel, links down below. 
um, all my social media links down below as well, including my Goodreads. And um, if you're a bookworm, come follow me on that. And of course, my throne wish list. <laughs> if uh, you want to spoil me or treat me, it's my birthday soon, so feel free to do it. August the third, I'll be forty. I don't. I'm not going to say what he's doing. He's just doing funny things with the Mario Kart wheels. Um. 44 I'm going to be. You've forgotten him for a second. I did think, yeah. yeah. How, old am I? How old do I look, do you reckon? Well, now I look, I look rough, but uh, in general. 72. 72. Yes. You're a cruel man. You're a cruel man. No, really. <laughs> you. It rhymes with a witch, and it's got a B in it. it means... Swibbitch. Swib Swibbitch. No, really, how old do I look? Oh, 72. No. 30. 30. Someone said I look my 30s in the yeah. other day on the comments, so I'll take that. You look younger than me. Yeah, but look at them bags under my eyes today. Not, yeah. as, not as great. Yeah, good bit of sleep. Have you got bags? No, you haven't actually. Still get lots of sleep. You do get lots of sleep, yeah. Well, once, hopefully tonight there might be no once, scary once, whistling. Once I'm out, I'm out. Yeah, you're a deep sleeper. I yeah. literally... I hear everything, apart from the whistling, I which I didn't hear that. Oh, sorry, once it happens again. You hear it when you're on your own. <sighs> anyway, right, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching, everyone. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.